Merry Christmas. Today we're going to be unboxing the Honda Barrett Vegan Beauty Advent. It costs just £55, but it's worth over £180, so this is going to be a great bargain, and I can't wait to unbox it with you guys. Oh my gosh. Okay, I know it's only September, but trust me, if I wait until November to tell you about this, it will be sold out. Everything here is vegan, everything is cruelty-free, and they're really good for sustainable items too. I haven't unboxed it yet, but if you are in sustainable beauty, we all know it costs quite a bit, and this Advent is 55 quid. That works out at £2.20 a door. Okay, keep that in mind as we unbox this, okay? £2.20 a door. So this one does come with 25 doors. There is one to open on Christmas Day. Some of these do come with 24. But yeah, £2.20 a door. Again, that is what we're remembering here. £2.20 per door. Oh, and it's heavy. <laughs> if we have not met before, hello, my name's Nicole, better known online as Vegan Beauty Girl. I do a lot of videos basically on veganism. Started off doing vegan beauty, now do a lot of food as well. I think we'll be good friends. Oh my God, number one's massive. <laughs> not gonna lie, this feels like a game of Jenga. I'm nervous. Okay, first off, we have a vitamin C cleansing balm. This is one of Hond and Barrett's own brand beauty brands. Vita Skin, Vita Skin, not sure how you pronounce it. When they first launched this range, I was gifted a whole box of goodies and a lot of it was vitamin C stuff and that doesn't work well for my skin. It's just not what my skin likes, whatever the brand. So I gave a um, few products, this included, to, to some friends and they absolutely loved it. So this is a great product to start off with. Good size as well. Definitely worth more than £2.20. Number two. Okay, this one's kind of small. Here we have a lip balm. This is from Fru. I actually really like their lip balms. This one is the watermelon one, so it's going to taste delicious. I personally prefer their tinted lip balms. I like my lip balms to come with a tint, but if you like yours tintless, this is wonderful. It's a good start to the winter season. Obviously a great product for the colder months when your lips get really chapped. And again, really recommend checking out their tinted ones if you like a tinted lip balm. It's actually really hard to find a tinted lip balm, which actually has a good tint. And these guys nail it, so. Okay, number three is long and skinny. I have no idea what's in here. It's definitely heavy. Maybe like a gua sha thing or... Oh. It is a pure olive oil soap made from pure unrefined olive oil. It comes in a cardboard box and I'm, oh my gosh. This actually looks really cute. I've seen these in store before. I think in TK Maxx, maybe more than and Barrett, but I've always kind of wanted to try it. So yeah, I'm excited to have this. I generally do have a lot of soap there. I'm always stockpiling it. But anyway, what I wanted to say is that I was really happy that when I took it out of the cardboard, it just like came out as a soap. Like sometimes you get soap in cardboard, you unbox it and it's in plastic. And this one's just, just soap. So that's good. Just generally love the pattern on the soap as well. This is gorgeous. If you want to dot around through the days, by the way, I'm going to be putting like timestamps through, I don't know, every seven days. So you can kind of watch a bit here and there rather than have everything spoiled for you just to get a gist of the calendar. And obviously the review at the end will be timestamped so I can kind of say my overall thoughts. Again, Holland and Barrett just always smash out of the park for value for money, especially with vegan sustainable beauty products. It can be really difficult to get stuff affordable. And I know a lot of us are trying to save money where we can this year. So if you still want to keep all that integrity of your products. This is a really good way to save some money when buying products you love and will use. I have a feeling we're gonna have a bit of a drop when I take out number four. Do you know what? I think they have had prettier advent calendars in the past. This one's fine, but good luck finding space for all this on your mantelpiece. So I don't know where you're putting it. I'd actually be curious. Like every time I get one of these, I unbox it within a few hours for you guys at home. If you've ever had an advent calendar, like a big beauty one, where do you even put them? Do you put them on your dresser in your bedroom? I don't know, tell me, please. Like leave me a comment because I just always unbox mine in a day. Also, let me know if you do that because I know I do that for work. But do you guys just do that for the fun of it? I don't know. Like, let me know, because I've never used one of these properly. Okay, number four, sorry. Okay, Pip and Pod. So, this is another one of Honda Merit's own, own brand beauty brands. They're just getting lots and lots. Like, they're clearly tapping into the market, but I'm really quite annoyed that none of them are, like, certified cruelty-free yet. I think that should be a big priority, especially because I think this is, like, the third beauty line they've released. While they claim to be cruelty-free, it is not certified, so that does kind of put me off their products a little bit, especially because they, they have the means. Like, sometimes when a small business isn't certified cruelty-free, I'm like, okay, it's expensive. I understand it takes some time, but upon the like, come on. But anyway, this is a dragon fruit face scrub. I think I'll really like this. Oh, and it uses waste kiwi seeds as well. Oh my God. What a fun texture. Oh, that is nice and gritty. Oh, I like that. I don't think dragon fruit seeds are doing much, I'm gonna be honest, but the rest of it, quite nice and gritty. I think I like this. I think I've had a really good mix of products so far as well. I know we're only on, what was it, day four. Okay, let me reserve judgment on that. It's too soon to say. Here we go. I lost day 20. Bamboo swipe. We've got makeup remover pads here. 
Definitely an eco beauty staple. There are only two in this pack. If you're still using cotton pads to remove your makeup, it is way more eco-friendly to swap to reusables. These are so soft. They are molting a little bit. I'm getting a bit of fluff off on the first use. But yeah, I reckon these will be really nice, especially if you use like an oil cleanser. And to be honest, I could do with some of these. You don't actually need a cleanser with these. You just need warm water and it will remove your makeup. I've used stuff like this before, so that's really handy, especially if you're like staying overnight somewhere, although you do need to wait for them to dry out afterwards. Oh, apparently they're quick drying, perfect for travel. I'm actually going on holiday next week, so these will come in really handy. Day six. Do you know what? I'm starting to feel a bit festive and it's only August. This is so bad. So we've got some frankincense essential oil that's definitely very festive. It's just a nice little oil. I imagine you can use this with like a diffuser or whatever. And apparently it is a comforting scent. Personally, I don't really have much use for something like this, but a lot of these products, if you don't like the look of them, you can just re-gift them at Christmas and save yourself some money that way. Even if you didn't want any of these products, you get 180 pounds worth of beauty products for just 55 quid. If you've got a lot of people to buy for that would love the sort of products you're seeing in here, it's worth getting to save yourself money on Christmas shopping. Day seven. I keep dropping them. So here we have a tisser on de-stress mood fix mist. So this is an essential oil blend that's meant to help slow you down, breathe and reclaim your calm. Ooh, ooh, that's so nice. Definitely a nice one for the evenings too. I don't think it was the best idea having this one straight after the other essential oil. I know this one's a mist and the last one's an essential oil, but I think it's weird that they had those like a day after each other. They're just very similar products. Odd, odd choice. Number eight. Oh, we have a Rose Otto eye serum. So I quite enjoy Dr. Organic products, especially from the Rose range. So this is meant to be healthy aging, hydrating, revitalizing, it's fragrance free. Yeah, I really like, look at this. There's so much like nice skincare in this advent. It's got a really nice tip to it. Oh, fuck. I did not expect that to just, but yeah, that rubbed in really nicely. Okay, we want number nine next. Where is it? Oh my God, how could I miss it? It's the massive one. Timber. Number seven's behind the table. It can stay there until we're done filming. I'm gonna knock everything off if I rescue that. Ooh, ooh. West Lab Mindful Natural Body Salts, and it's a frankincense, bergamot, and CBD mix with Epsom and Himalayan mineral salts. I'm sure a lot of you guys have used West Lab salts before. They're really nice in a bath. For me, I'm currently training for the marathon, and they have been like a godsend. I've really enjoyed the muscle relaxing one. Absolutely love the sound of this one. Got magnesium to relax the mind and body, essential oils for clarity of mind, and cannabis oil to promote tranquility. Possibly my favorite so far. So what's in number 10? Ooh, it's from Evolve. It's the Evolve Beauty Hyaluronic Serum. Evolve are one of my favorite brands. They are a really good eco brand. They've got their own little eco factory like around the St. Albans area. Yeah, I actually really enjoy their Hyaluronic Serum. It's just really great for hydrating the skin, perfect for winter. It's not heavy on the skin at all. It's just easily absorbed. Love this product. I'm out of this product. This will definitely be helping me out this winter. Here, I'll get a texture shot for you guys. Ooh, look at that. Oh, it feels so nice going on the skin. Kind of like a super lightweight gel. Really like this one. I've used probably two bottles of this up in the past. It's just a great product. Really love it. Okay, number 11 next. Here we've got a Duo brush brow set. I feel like So Eco always have a brush on these advent calendars. They are a good eco-friendly brush brand. If you're looking for makeup brushes and you want to be kind of kinder to the environment, definitely check out So Eco brushes. I like that it's a brow set. It's quite nice to just have something quite simple there. I've been trying out soap brows a bit lately, so this will be really handy to do that with. Number 12, come out, come out. Something from Q&A Skincare, a daily moisturizer. It's also a hyaluronic acid one. Great ingredient for winter, not the best for variety. However, I do feel like most skin types like hyaluronic acid anyway. It's quite a crowd-pleasing ingredient, so hopefully everyone gets along with this. One of my favorite things about Q&A Skincare is that they are a really great brand for people who don't know much about skincare. They have a checklist on the back of all their products, which just makes it really easy to shop by your skin type alongside with your skin goals. This is really just gonna help keep your skin like plump and hydrated throughout winter. I really love it when an advent calendar is really thinking about winter to skincare and what you want around Christmas time. That's always a winner for me. 13's in the bottom corner. I was not expecting this. So here we've got the beautiful skin gummies with hyaluronic acid. Is that three 
in a row. I think this calendar still has good variety. They're really not stocking them in the right order because like I wouldn't say the last three products have been identical in the slightest, but I am starting to think like, oh, this is a lot of hyaluronic acid. You're asking people to feel like it's getting repetitive. These are raspberry flavored food supplements that are meant to be helping you with your beauty, I guess. And they're vegan. The bottle's made from 100% recycled plastic. And this is meant to provide a glowing blend of nutrients to support your beauty routine. I always find that these things look so expensive and I can be so skeptical about them. So I love that they've included this here so that anyone who is skeptical like me can just give it a go and see the difference. And hopefully we do see the difference. So that's quite nice. 14, here we go. A reviving renewal night cream from Urban Veda. It's got replenishing rose, organic pomegranate, and restorative rose hair. So it's a mini bottle, but it still looks quite nice. I reckon it's gonna be really quite thick. Oh, that does feel quite nice, thick, and rather luxurious. Definitely smells like roses. But I'd just like to point out, because I know a lot of us are probably quite eco-friendly here, these just generally seem to come with like minimal plastic, like there's no plastic rim around here that I just had to battle through and there even wasn't like a plastic tab here I think maybe it's because it's like pre-boxed so you don't really need to do that but yeah I'm I like I like that the less plastic you use the better right it's kind of worth noting we've not really had any makeup we had a couple of makeup brushes but everything else is pretty much almost all been skincare so this is a great calendar if you want to try out a lot of skincare options I put 13 back up here so now 15's at the bottom corner so here we have a sort of the earth deodorant. I've actually spoken at length about how I can't use plastic free deodorants. I have a video which I'll link up here. And this is the best eco deodorant I've found for my sensitive armpits. This is their unscented one, so it's probably gonna be even better, but I went for, I can't remember which one I've got, like melanin cucumber maybe. Anyway, I am a huge fan of Salt in the Earth, especially their spray deodorant. Whilst they come in plastic packaging, they are refillable and I've been refilling mine for, I don't know, two years now. Love it, perfect. 16. We have an Etique Shampoo Mini. So this is a pH balancing shampoo. Um, I'm a big fan of Etique. They are one of the best brands for zero waste beauty products. They're 100% plastic free across all the boards. They're a certified B Corp as well. I've worked with them a few times over the years. What they released this year, they released lipsticks and they are amazing. I've actually got a whole video review of that. Honestly, I really love those lipsticks. Still use them all the time. Their shampoo is good. I feel like I'm more of a Lush shampoo girl, but I think that's mostly because I enjoy the experience of shopping their shampoo bars. I get the sea salt one because it makes me feel like a mermaid on that basic. But this is really nice, really handy, especially if there are people buying this calendar that haven't used shampoo bars before. It's a really great like little trial, a little introduction. Sorry, yeah, if you haven't used shampoo bars before, I've been using shampoo bars for years as well, and this is one of those eco swaps that I actually just genuinely think is better. I've also had liquid shampoo sent to me, and although it works fine or whatever, I just find it just a bit more faffy, like you have to squeeze the bottle and put it in your hand, and then... whereas a shampoo bar, you just get it wet. Oh, and their mini ones are heart-shaped. I forgot this, it's so cute. You just bring it in with you in the shower, and you just rub it on your head. It's so easy, then it lathers up, then you put it down when you've had enough. It's really easy to kind of like target. It's like, oh, here I want to wash, here I want to wash. I just think it works better. I don't know if I'm explaining it super well, but yeah, I really prefer a shampoo bar, and not just because they're eco-friendly, I'm not like forcing myself to prefer them. On to the 17th of December. Natural Tint Hair Food. This is a revitalizing mask. It even has a suitable vegan sticker on front. So I got sent a list of the brands in the, that will be featuring here before I accepted it. And this brand last I heard, I thought they were like fake cruelty free, but since I last checked, they are ethical elephant approved and she's one of the leading cruelty free bloggers. So that is great news. If you are also hot on what's cruelty free and not at Holland and Barrett, might be good news for you. I'll leave a link down below just to confirm. And this one's meant to give brilliant shines. And that's really great in the winter because our hair's often really dehydrated this is nice and again good variety i find it weird that <laughs> no okay i say good variety but bad ordering because it's taken a while for us to like leave skincare and go on to hair care and now we just had two in a row it's like they forgot to put it on shuffle before they lined it all up i don't know okay 18th december this one's my birthday so there's a lot of pressure on this one to be good Oh my god, it's in a special little bag. It's like they knew. Oh my god. I always get so excited when I film these and it's my birthday because it feels like my birthday. Okay, it's an eye mask. I don't really use these, especially because I get lash extensions, so I worry this wouldn't be good for them. This would be perfect if I have a surprise party on my birthday. But this year, actually, 18th of December is when we've got the... Uh, 
because the World Cup is Abu Dhabi that it's in, no Qatar, because the World Cup's in Qatar this year, they're doing the World Cup final on 18th of December, and I'm just miffed, I'm like, I've already got a winter birthday a week before Christmas, and now it's the World Cup final as well. So I can do this to stop myself from having to watch football. A gift that keeps on giving. But yeah, this is gonna be faux silk, I know it's a vegan calendar. 80% polyester, 17% sponge, and 3% rubber. So this is created by Holland and Barrett, I guess it's Holland and Barrett green. But yes, 19. Jojoba oil for the face. This is a really good face oil, but I don't think I'd ever use it just like on its own personally. If you do like that, or if you like mixing up your own skincare, this is nice. Fushia are a really lovely company. Another brand that I'm really happy to see in here. It's not a product I'd really end up using. Here we go, number 20. Ooh, whatever it is, it's fragile. Oh, it's from Psychic Sisters. Okay, I think this one's gonna be a gua sha. Yes, gua sha facial wand. Reclaim your youth with the Psychic Sisters Holistic Facial Wand. Do you know what? I've had many of these before. I've always wanted to work them into my routine and I never have. They're quite expensive and this is a really good quality one. I have a friend that does facials and she's always looking out for more of these just because they always seem to go missing. So I'll probably just give it to my friend Saskia. But yeah, if you get a scanner and you're keen to use this, just make sure to watch the tutorial. And the biggest bit of advice is to just go super, super gentle, like gentler than you would have thought. Because like if you start pulling and dragging on your skin, you'll start doing damage and you're trying to help your skin with one knee. So be careful and make sure you know what you're doing because you can cause more damage than good if you're just going at it the wrong way, basically. This is definitely a skincare tool that can really help you kind of like look after yourself and prioritize yourself and encourage you to really spend time on your skincare in the evening. Just taking the time to do your skincare like really intentionally and taking that extra time at least once a week, maybe twice a week, you will notice so much difference in your skin. Sometimes we're chasing product after product when really it's a technique we kind of need to look back at. And no one wants to tell you that because everyone's trying to sell you products. So please just like take that away from this video. 21. My one's like printed a bit skew with, but we have a neem and tea tree face mask, green clay, witch hazel, moringa, and avocado oils. I imagine this is just really great for drying out impurities. An intensive treatment of rosemary, eucalyptus, and peppermint to deep cleanse and revive skin. Okay, this actually might be a bit too much if you have scents in, so give yourself like just a little like skin patch test. But otherwise, it should also be like a really good deep cleansing face mask so it really depends on your skin type whether or not this will be a great product for you i wonder if it comes out green no i know about you but i'm feeling 22 do you know what? i listened to swift's 22 so much someone recently asked me how old i was and my default answer was just 22 like i didn't even think about it just like word vomit i'm like 22 lie i'm turning 30 next year and i'm like 22 22 <laughs> i'm always feeling 22 and that's the point. Oh, a candle. Lemongrass and bergamot. Oh, it smells lovely. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, this is nice. Oh, I wonder if they're saving all the best items for the end of the calendar. I think that's always a good tactic, to be honest. It's 100% natural home fragrance, soy wax. And it's something a bit different too, just in case you're getting bored of the skincare. Okay, where's 23? Ah, bottom corner. So I actually dated a 23 year old this year and we've already <laughs> gone through my age. But when I asked him how old he was, he was like, I'm 24 this year. And then like a few weeks later, I was like talking to him like, oh yeah, so you're 24, aren't you? And he was like, no, I'm 23. And I was like, what? And he was like, yeah, I'm 24 this year. And I got like deja vu. I was like, oh my God, this is how you got me. I asked you how old you were and you were just like 24 this year. And I think I was a bit drunk and all I heard was 24 and maybe that's all I wanted to hear. He's 24 now, but we're not seeing each other anymore. So it's not cause he aged up. I'm not Leonardo DiCaprioing him, but anyway. The lid had kind of come off. So here we have some Vita Coco coconut oil. I think my sister was literally just telling me how she wants to buy a small coconut oil to take to France with us next week. So I'm just going to send her a quick photo of this and be like, don't worry, sis, I got us covered. Here we have Vita Coco coconut oil. It's organic virgin cold press, really good quality coconut oil. Yeah, I think we're going to take this to France next week. I don't really want to break the seal. You do not want this to leak anywhere, so I'm not risking it. If it's sealed, that's perfect. My mum swears by coconut oil, and now my sister does as well. I think it's fine. I just don't put anything on me if I've hurt myself. I just let like let myself be. But Vita Coco, one of my favorite brands for coconut oil. I especially love like their drinks and their hair care range is really good too. Christmas Eve. This one's heavy. I'm like, is it a diffuser? Shampoo? Shower gel? Faith in Nature Body Wash Dragon Fruit. I do love Faith in Nature. I think they're a great brand. They're one of these really long standing ethical brands that have been doing it long before it was cool, I guess, and super profitable. So vegan made in the UK and cruelty free certified. Oh, it smells really nice as well. I wouldn't say it's a particularly festive scent, but 
I'm okay with it. I'll let it pass. And Christmas Day up top here. Okay, skin food body lotion. I don't know how I feel about this being the final product. I think a few people use this as an alternative to Aveeno because they are a cruelty free brand and Aveeno are not. Just got a little bit here, just a normal lotion. Yeah, it just feels really nice and hydrating. I have heard incredible reviews on it, especially for people who really struggle with dry skin, like medically. So yeah, really lovely one. And obviously dry skin, often more of a winter issue than summer issue, so it's been nice. I don't know, I just feel like I would have expected something a bit more like festive or celebratory as the last product. It's okay though. I'm happy with it. I just don't know if I'm happy with the positioning of it. That's all. I think we can all agree that was an amazing calendar. Really good value for money. I was really impressed with the brands in there. I did get a bit nervous towards the start that Honda Marat were just gonna put so many of their new own brand products in here but I think they kept the balance very good they didn't go overboard at all so if you are keen to get this calendar I don't think it's on sale yet if you go onto their website you can sign up for an alert when it does go on sale you don't want to miss this it will sell out fast it always sells out fast yeah I'm really impressed obviously if you aren't looking to try out more skincare items this may not be the calendar for you a lot of it is skincare but yeah if you do love skincare if you're looking to try a few more things if you kind of need to vegan beauty or sustainable beauty great investment great chance to try out so many wonderful brands so yes thank you so much for watching my name's Nicole I'm on on Instagram I'm on TikTok and obviously here on YouTube please do subscribe the rest of my details will be down below I think we'll get along just fine especially if you're still watching at this point other than that Merry Christmas hope to see you again soon have a lovely day bye